Cowboy James Storm announces he is a free agent. Could we see him back in Impact Wrestling? The current Knockouts champion, Diona Perrazzo, is finally offered a full-time contract. When will we see these new talented indie stars debut for Explosion? Some dumb comments? All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North, right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. So, James Storm. James Storm announces he's a free agent, no longer with the NWA. Uh, Now, the NWA hasn't been running any shows since this pandemic has started. Uh, We've seen a handful of uh, of NWA uh, wrestlers signing with AEW. Um, Eddie Kingston, Ricky Starks. uh, I'm not sure if Thunder Rosa uh, has signed with them, but I know she's been defending the NWA title on AEW, so AEW, NWA might have a little uh, working agreement uh, going on there, but um, nonetheless, James Storm no longer with uh, with the NWA. Um, could we see him back in Impact Wrestling? Could we see James Storm back in Impact Wrestling? I think it's a very, very good possibility we could see him back. I mean, I, I would be all for it. I know uh, James Storm is 43 years old. Um, not sure how much time he has left in professional wrestling. I don't think uh, he wants to go through the whole NXT system. I know he was there for one or two matches in the past. Uh, at, at his age of 43, I, I don't think he wants to... Um, you know, do that to, to work his way through NXT to, to get to the main roster only to be... Uh, <laughs> Ignored and then eventually um, uh, released by the WWE. I don't think he wants to do that. Uh, but but Impact Wrestling, Impact Wrestling could be a a good destination, a good destination for for James Storm. I don't think they left on on bad terms. I I'm pretty sure they left on good terms. And then you would think, well, well, how would they bring him in? Who would he feud with? And I have an idea. I have an idea, right? On how they would bring on how they could bring James Storm in, and it involves Jackson Stone. It involves Shaq Stone. I would, I would bring back James Storm, and uh, I would have James Storm come out and say he's back in Impact Wrestling and he's ready uh, to um, to win the Impact Wrestling title. Uh, he's he's ready to be the top dog again, and he could cut a, a great promo like James Storm can can cut. And and then Jackson Stone will come out. Jackson Stone, who uh, signed a three year contract with uh, Impact Wrestling after winning. Um, Oh, what's the name of that uh, the contest? Anyway, the, the name of the contest uh, escapes me, but uh, he uh, he won the the talent contest, and uh, he come out and he could say, you know, where we're all, all the all the young guys are tired of all these older guys coming back, and he could reference Eric Young, uh, he could reference who else could he could reference the Motor City Machine Guns, uh, he could um, of course reference James Storm, and uh, Jack Sison could go on and say that uh, the fans don't want to see the uh, the old guard, they want to see the new talents, you know, and. And uh, Jackson Stone says he's here to represent the new talent, uh, and uh, he could um, engage in a feud with James Storm, which I would put Jackson Stone over on, uh, because you, know, you need to build up some some young talent. But I think that would be a, a decent way to to bring in James Storm and bring in Jackson Stone. Um, let me know what you think of that idea. You could uh, mention it in the comments. Uh, that'd be uh, that'd be just fine. But I, I think that would be a good idea. I think that would make, be a good good idea. And I'm I'm going to talk about some new talent um, uh, that has yet to debut for Explosion for some reason a little later on. But this this could be a, a, a way to bring in you know the new talent. You know the 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 Jackson Stone could be could be the guy that. You know he's fighting to open up the door for for newer talent, and um, and James Storm, as I said, represents uh, the old guard, and uh, it's time for them to uh, take a step back, and and let the let the fresh blood, the new blood, come in. It's kind of like uh, the WCW. Uh, Vince Russo did a did a thing like that back in W uh, WCW with. Um, with a Hulk Hogan and a group of the group of all the stars, I think Sting and and he had them feud. I, he had I think I think he had Hulk Hogan lose um, um, three weeks in a row to uh, oh, uh, Billy Kidman. 
Billy Kidman. And uh, he did the same thing with the young um, Vampiro to feud with Sting. So you could do something like that. I think that something like that would work. It's a different storyline. Uh, I, I think fans, while they would love to see James Storm back in Impact, I think we would also love to see some, some newer talent coming in as well. And uh, I think... I think that would be a a great. Um, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do after this podcast? I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, actually I, I I sent a um a message to Jack Jackson Stone uh, asking when 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 he thinks he's going to debut because he should be debuting already. I I would would have imagined he would have debuted already. I mean, he doesn't live in Canada. I believe he lives I'm almost certain he lives in the United States, so he could he could travel to um to the tapings. But uh, I asked him when he's going to be debuting for Impact Wrestling, and he just responded soon. So he's he's not sure. Uh, so he said soon. But I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ask James um, uh, Jackson Stone about this. See him, what he thinks about this storyline. If 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 uh, Impact can pull it off, eh, that would that'd be fantastic. Again, th- this is this is just me talking. This is a fan talking. This is not set in stone. You know, I would uh, something I was, It's just. Something that just ran through my mind that I think would be be a good idea. But um, bottom line, if James Storm wants to come back to Impact Wrestling uh, with or without um, a few with Jackson Stone, I, I I would be all for it. I would be all for it. Um, so so there you go. So Diona Perrazzo. Diona Perrazzo has finally, finally been offered a contract. A full-time, two-year, incentive-filled contract with Impact Wrestling. And this was made about three or four days ago, uh, but it uh, as of as of this recording, she hasn't signed it yet, which has me a little worried. Why? Like why? Why wouldn't she? Unless she has signed it and they just haven't announced it. But I think if she signed it, they would have announced it like right away, because uh, Diana Prado is is a pretty big deal right now in Impact Wrestling. It's rumored that she's leaving after Bound for Glory. Um, I know she's expressed interest in AEW in the past. I, I hope uh, I hope she doesn't leave. I think this is obviously why that uh, she was offered the the two year contract with Impact Wrestling. It's I think she's happy. I think she's happy with Impact Wrestling. I mean, they put the title on her right away, which which is a little concerning because you think if she they put the title on her right away, maybe they weren't expecting her to stay very long. That's why they figured we got to get the title on her now, let her hold it for a bit, and then um, when she leaves, uh, before she leaves, we'll take the title off her. Um, but but I I hope she signs it. I I'm a little like I said I'm a little nervous that she hasn't signed it as of yet. So she's probably um, thinking about AEW. <laughs> I, uh, I hope I hope she stays. I hope she stays. I really hope in the next few days that uh, we see that Diona Prazo has signed a contract. I even, I even tried to get it out of her on on um on Twitter because she she posted a, a day after the that Impact Wrestling announced that they um offered her a contract or the reports that were out that they offered her a contract uh, she, she put up a, she tweeted a picture of herself holding, holding the Impact Wrestling belt saying Prophecy Achieved and uh, I'm thinking I wonder if um, or Prophecy Fulfilled something like that I, I'm thinking I wonder if that means that she has signed the contract so so I I, I tweeted out I asked her uh, if she signed the contract Is that does this mean you signed the contract and the, the prediction was you were going to sign and you know prophecy fulfilled did you sign the contract she hasn't answered um so i'm taking that uh, she hasn't signed it yet and uh, i really hope she signs it soon because i would love to see diona prazo stay in impact wrestling for a very very long time uh wwe dropped the ball with diona prazo uh and i love when people call the uh, one trolls i, I should say people i should troll say diona prazo was a jobber in the wwe couldn't make it and look at her now she's champion diona prazo was is outstandingly talented if, if you watched her in ring of honor against kelly klein my god those were great matches those were just terrific matches and uh w she didn't drop the ball in the dub in wwe the wwe dropped the ball with diona prazo and the two-year contracts on the table diona prazo please sign it just sign it and get it over with and um Remain with the Impact Wrestling. I, I, I'm pretty sure if she signs it, that she's going to hold on to that title for a very, very long time. If she signs that contract, she's not dropping it to Kylie Ray. Of course, if she doesn't sign it and she does leave after Battle for Glory, then obviously she's going to drop it to Kylie Ray. And um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I got my fingers crossed that uh, she 
signs that contract and remains with Impact Wrestling. Now, Rohit Raju, the poor guy, man, Impact Wrestling champion, is just not getting any respect or love from anybody, in my opinion, from Impact Wrestling. From anybody in Impact Wrestling. Now, if one, one he has in the face, he defended the title once against Crazy Steve, and it was thrown on explosion. I don't know how many people have watched the match. It was a successfully defended the title um, on explosion, and it was, should have been on the main show. Um, you, you see, you see just clips of him walking backstage with the belt, you know, arguing over who the next number one contender is going to be, despite the fact that he hasn't really defended the belt at all on the main show. He hasn't defended it at all on the main show, and that. He really, I shouldn't say he really hasn't. He hasn't defended it on the main show. That match with Crazy Steve again should have been on the main show. He should have had at least three, four title defenses under his belt already, in my opinion, just just to build him up, uh, build him up. Because like, and I've said this many times, he's so talented. But now, but now the the social um, person in charge of social media, the person in charge of social media for Impact Wrestling, just for some reason they just can't. Give Rohit Raju any love? Uh, there was a uh, there was a post. There was a graphic put out. It says Rohit Raju faces the winner of TJP versus Trey uh, versus uh, versus Bay. Or and uh, I actually think it was the winner of Trey versus TJP versus Bay. They're having a triple threat match next week, and the winner will be challenging Rohit Raju. But they didn't really take time to proofread that because winner is spelled W I N E R. You know, Rohit Raju finish faces the winner W I N E R of Trey versus T J P versus Chris Bay. So he's not getting any love or any respect from from anybody really um, in Impact Wrestling. That, that I guess I guess the and and you know what the funny thing is Rohit Raju didn't even catch it because he actually retweeted that. And uh, somebody actually, um, I, I was going to point it out, but I figured I'm, I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to get I because I, I love Rohit Raju. I don't want to, I don't want to get him upset or anything. So I, I didn't. But somebody eventually responded and said, well, "Winner is, you know, winner is spelled incorrectly." And Rohit Raju was like, "Oh wow, good catch." <laughs> Just no respect, no respect for poor Rohit Raju. And and um, so next week he's he's going to face the winner. I, you know, I I don't think anyone's going to win this triple threat match. I think it's going to be it's going to end in controversy. I don't think Rohit Raju is going to face anybody next week. I think the match at Bound for Glory is going to be Rohit Raju versus TJP versus Trey Miguel versus Chris Bay um, for the X Division chat. It's going to be a, a fatal four way match. Maybe they'll throw in one or two more people, uh, but I don't think we're going to see Rohit Raju wrestling next week uh but come on impact wrestling you gotta you gotta give this guy some love you gotta give this guy rohit Raju some respect he's one of the most talented guys in your roster and it's just there's just no love for the guy man come on all right man jeez and we're the proofreaders anybody proofread that does anybody proofread when the social media before social before the social media guys or the person in charge of social media before they post anything do they do they proofread and it wasn't even it wasn't even typed it was a graphic it was a graphic that was created and with a misspelled word and I've seen that before I I've anyway okay okay all right all right anyway so let's. <laughs> It just makes them look bad. It just makes them look bad, and and uh, they 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 got to be better than that. I'm sorry. They have to do a little better than that. Just makes them look like a a bush league promotion when when stuff like that happens, you know. And and, and like I said, as I was uh, I was going into it, I stopped. But I've seen graphics before in, in the past where they announce the match, you know, and they have the wrestlers, but they have the wrong pictures. Like it'll say, like it'll be, you know, the picture of, like say, um, um. Kira Hogan versus uh, versus um, Kimberly. That that'll be that'll be the 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 words typed out. Kira Hogan takes on Kimberly, but it'll be it'll be a picture of like of Tessa Blanchard and uh, Ty Valkyrie. 
No, I've seen that before. You know, it, it's happened once or twice, and but they they got <laughs> they got to do a little better. They got to do a little better. And all right, so uh, let's let's move along. Uh, I know uh, I spoke about some new pa- new talent that was announced uh, over a month ago that was scheduled to debut for Impact Wrestling Explosion. Uh, the new talent, uh, really talented guys, Lee Moriarty, just just a phenomenally talented professional wrestler. Just just as Josh Alexander, they've had some absolutely tremendous matches together. Uh, Trey Lamar and uh, Benjamin Carter, um, all three of these guys are just absolutely incredibly talented. And it was announced that they're gonna be debuting on Explosion, and that was over a month ago, and they haven't debuted yet. I mean, the last Explosion match was was Suicide one on one with um, Johnny Swinger. Now, all due respect, but I, I don't want to see Johnny Swinger against Suicide. I, I, I want to see Benjamin Carter against somebody. I want to see Trey Lamar against somebody. I want to see Lee Moriarty against somebody. I want to see these guys. It's, it's been over a month now. You know, let, let's get these guys an explosion because these guys are, are amazingly talented. And especially, like I said, Lee Moriarty, holy smoke. Benjamin Carter also, they're all, they're all Trey Lamar, all terrific, terrific, terrific talent. I mean, I mentioned Josh Alexander and, and I mentioned the matches he's had with Lee Moriarty. They, they've had some tremendous matches. I think they've faced each other two or three times. Josh Alexander um, even quoted out saying that he's got a new favorite rival or something of that nature uh, in Lee Moriarty. Uh, and even on my show when I interviewed Josh Alexander, he said Lee Moriarty is ready. Lee Moriarty is going to be a star. He would be great at Impact Wrestling. So what's the holdup? What's the holdup? Just let's let's get these guys on. This is what you know. Don't want to tune into an explosion and watch you know Johnny Swinger against Suicide. All due respect, especially after you announced that these talents are coming to Explosion over a month ago. Let's let's get them on, man. Let's get them on because you want to bolster that X division. These three guys will bolster that X division. But the only way they're going to do that is if you get them on TV. If you get them on TV. So let's get them on TV already. Thank you. All right. So we have coming up um, Impact Plus Taping. Uh, Let me pull it up here. There will be an Impact Plus Taping. And it will be called Jackson Jam. So there, it's being taped uh, September 26th. Saturday, September 26th. It's uh, Lariato, and I hope I pronounced that right, Lariato uh, Pro Wrestling Guild, uh, Jackson Jam. Uh, on the show is going to be um, uh, the, L, the, L, the Lariato Pro Wrestling Guild Championship match. Uh, the champion, which happens to be Eric Young. But they have an image of him holding the Impact Wrestling title. Uh, he'll be defending, uh, not the Impact title, but the uh, LPWG title against Chris Masters. That should be an interesting match. And the Good Brothers on the show taking on the LPWG Tag Team Champions. I don't mean to laugh, but I just love the name. <laughs> They're taking on the Slambinos. <laughs> Now, all due respect, I don't know really. I don't know anything about the Slambinos, but I, I love the name. I'm, I'm not laughing at them. I just, I just, the name is just very, <laughs> very appealing. It's, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's a funny name, the Slambinos. I'm sure they're tremendously talented wrestlers, and I, I wouldn't want to cross paths with them. And after they find out that I'm laughing at their name. But uh, again, I don't know anything about them, but I'm looking forward to to seeing this match at Jackson Jam. Uh, it doesn't appear that any other Impact stars will be on there besides Eric Young, um, uh, Carl Anderson, and Doc Gallows. Uh, but regardless on who's there, it's uh, Impact Plus Taping. I think it's going to be, if I'm not mistaken, it's the first Impact, Impact Plus Taping um, that's that's been in a very 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 long long time i think since this pandemic started uh so i'm looking forward to that looking forward to getting some some new uh content on impact plus uh so i'm looking forward to jackson jam uh september 26th i think it's going to be outdoors it says um bring your own lawn chair uh so yeah so i believe it's going to be outdoors social distancing will be in effect um so yes, I'm looking forward. Impact Plus taping returns. New cards. Jackson Jam. 
and I'm not sure when it's going to be on Impact Plus. Usually it takes a, probably a week or two. Uh, they'll have to do all the editing and everything. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Jackson Jam. Uh, I, I said that for, like, what, the eighth time. <laughs> Jackson Jam coming to Impact Plus. All right. So let's get on to uh, some a, a really dumb comment. Some dumb, I, I, actually, I didn't see this comment uh, personally, but uh, somebody brought it to my attention on Facebook uh, they posted on an Impact Wrestling fan page apparently on on, on AEW fan pages uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, people talking about Impact Wrestling not having any money and AEW getting ready to buy Impact Wrestling so that that seems to be the um, the, the the popular uh, the popular saying right now the popular post uh, the popular posting right now on, on AEW fan pages is that uh, AEW is going to buy Impact Wrestling. And, and they're giving reasons that, uh, you know, they, they, they still owe Billy Corgan, you know, Billy Corgan $2 million. And they don't have money to pay him. And so they have no money. So AEW is getting ready to buy Impact Wrestling. First of all, I, I don't know anything about the Billy Corgan uh, Billy Corgan situation. I don't know if they owe him two million or not. I I don't know about that situation, so I'm not going to comment on it. Uh, but, I, but I highly doubt that that they uh, that they owe Billy Corgan two million. They may, they may, and maybe they're fighting it in court. I don't know. Um, but um, but it, it's funny how you know suddenly the the NWA has some <laughs> has a a little bit of a. A uh, minor working relationship with AEW. Now all of a sudden, all the now all of a sudden, <laughs> all the AEW fans are coming out and like, oh, poor Pilly Corgan, you know, he hasn't gotten paid by by Impact Wrestling. So you know what that means? They have no money. So AEW is getting ready to buy Impact Wrestling, you know, and maybe they'll pay Billy Corgan the two million dollars that's owed by Impact Wrestling. This way, poor Billy Corgan, who I'm sure is really hurting for money right now, um, after oh. <laughs> With his success, with the uh, with his success with the Smashing Pumpkins, you know, I'm sure I'm sure he's hurting for cash right now. So so uh, maybe AEW will be able to buy Impact Wrestling and and take care of that bill and and, and help poor Billy <laughs> Billy Corgan. How do people come up with these things? How do how do these people come up with these things? That now it, it was WWE was going to buy Impact Wrestling. People were saying that for the last, like, 17,000 years. Uh, it's n never happened. And now uh, now the new thing is um, AEW, get ready to buy Impact Wrestling. You know, what's, what's next? What's that? Oh, Ring of Honor. <laughs> Ring of Honor getting ready to buy uh, Impact Wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting ready to buy Impact Wrestling. Uh, you see, um, the deal is uh, Jordan Grace, um, she went out. Uh, she went out to lunch with uh, Scott Demore, and uh, Scott Demore forgot to pick up the tab. So uh, Impact Wrestling must be broke. So you know, uh, her husband, her husband works. Uh, Jonathan Gresham works for Ring of Honor, and uh, so what's going to happen is Ring of Honor is going to buy Impact Wrestling, and then they'll. Uh... <laughs> They'll uh, they'll go into they'll, they'll go into their petty cash and what to do is they'll 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 reimburse they'll reimburse Jordan Grace the amount of money for lunch so that's 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 what they'll do. You see how stupid that sounds. You see how absolutely moronic that sounds. But uh, no no AEW is not going to buy Impact Wrestling. It's a what is it? What is it, folks? It's a dumb comment. It's not going to happen. Okay, now let's let's go back to Diona Prazo for a second because she tweeted something out that I thought was interesting, and um, I I want to talk about it for a little bit. Uh, she tweeted out just a little reminder: emailing me your phone number will never make me text you. Okay, so so obviously there are some creeps out there that are that are emailing Diana Perazzo and they're asking her to text them uh, because for for what reasons I don't know, but um, maybe uh you know they they're <laughs> maybe they've they've passionately fallen in love with Diona Prazo and so they're they're trying to get um, they're trying to get Diona Prazo to text him uh, let me let me let me let me uh, let me just point out here that please 
don't 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 be silly don't be silly don't 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 be emailing don't be messaging you know any of the talents and asking them to text you because they're not going to tell why would they text you first of all why would the owner Perazzo say 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 um a friend of mine uh, john says you know what i'm gonna do uh i really like uh the owner Perazzo, so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna send her a message on instagram <laughs> And I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her if uh, she text me, and then uh, maybe I could uh, maybe I could talk to her for a bit, and then maybe we'll maybe eventually I could uh, ask her out, and we could go get milkshakes or something. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Okay. That's not. Don't 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 go there. Don't go there. If you're a fan of 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 um, Diona Perazzo, if you're a fan of a of a female wrestler, even women, or a fan of male wrestlers, it, it could go both ways. Don't. Don't don't think you're gonna get into a relationship uh, with any of the with the talent. If you're a fan, that's fine. If you're a fan, support them. You know, you know do positive social media posts um, on Twitter, or Instagram, Facebook, like I do. If you're a fan, uh, if you want to send them a message saying that oh you're really talented, I think you're great. That's fine. But but don't don't think that. You're going to send them your phone number, and you're going to strike up a conversation with them and become uh, become really close, really tight. Because that's that's the odds of that happening are very, very, very slim. And I know a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of female wrestlers get some really, really creepy messages. They get some really vulgar pictures sent to them. Some really vulgar, vulgar requests. Don't be that guy. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a creep. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Okay, well, thank you very much for listening today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. This has been Shooting Up North. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.